What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Gunfish TV. Back out here on the water today and I'm super excited because we're doing something a little bit different than what we normally do on the channel. So today we're going to be targeting the old crappy. We're not targeting bass today, we're targeting crappy and we're going to do a catch, clean and cook on the boat. We're not catching the fish and taking them home and cleaning them and cooking them. We're doing it here on the boat. I got the fillet board. I got everything I need to catch, clean, and cook the fish right here on the boat. So, went to Walmart, picked up the items that I needed. Wasn't able to film in Walmart because they always got music playing and I do not want my video to be copyrighted. But, went and picked up the good old propane tank that we need for cooking. The single burner propane stove, the camp stove right there. Got that. Got some Slap Your Mama seasoning. The good old Great Value vegetable oil. The lighter, definitely need that. And then I also picked up, and I have it in here in this bag, but a eight inch skillet, cast iron skillet. And then also we're only gonna be using jigs that we got from Walmart. These are some B&M jigs. They're like $1.50 for two. So fairly cheap, but we're going to try to make them work. And I think this is going to be a pretty fun time using only stuff that we bought from Walmart, only lures and only items that we bought from Walmart. We got to catch some crappy and let's see if we can catch, clean and cook a fish on the boat. It's going to be a good time. So let's go ahead and let's get started. All right. So... We are going to see if we can catch Mr. Crappy. I call him Speckle, but most people call him Crappy, so we'll go with that. But we are going to see if we can locate some. I've got on the little Crappy jig tied on from the good old Wally World. This is a orange head orange head with yellow tail and basically like some tinsel hanging off of it so we got four pound test four pound test and we have the wind is blowing from behind us so it's blowing down the lake like blowing straight towards the dam so basically what we're going to do we're going to look for some fish on live scope and see if we can see any there should be some like right here i'm kind of right here in the middle and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work my way beyond this point on the left and it's another point on the right. And we're gonna work our way to the dam because that is the deepest water. This is the deepest water. So I'm looking for schools of crappy, basically. I'm gonna see if I can find some. I'm gonna make a cast out here and get my, get my line wet. That helps big time when you're when you're uh, using light line or using something that's non uh, non braid on a spinning reel. You hear a lot of people talk about like, you know, the line getting twisted bad on a spinning reel. That's for one, that's being spooled incorrectly. And secondly, when your line gets dry, it kinks up a lot worse than if you get it wet. So every, I don't, I don't know, every maybe five casts or so, I like to put my rod tip on the water. I like to just make a cast, make a cast out there, make sure it's tight on the spool. And I like to put my rod tip in the water and reel and get that line wet. I think it makes a big difference. Big, big difference. But not seeing any crappy right now. We're gonna let the wind push us down. We're gonna go to this point right here and we're gonna fire our first cast. All right, so we're getting up here to this point. I don't see anything right now, but we're just gonna do a little bit of just blind casting at the moment. We're not up on this point yet. We're gonna get up on this point. Looks like there's one sitting right above that, uh, that little stob right there. 
Ooh, there's some. There's some on the bottom right here under us. There's one. There's one. That's a nice one too. Oh, it's a bass. <laughs> that ain't what we're looking for. Come here, buddy. A couple little bass laying right down there on the bottom. I thought that was a big old, big old specky speck. Well, there we go. Not what we're looking for, but I appreciate the bite there, buddy. Good thing we're not too, too hungry, because I'm going to tell you what, we uh, we'd be doing a catch and cook with old Mr. Bass. But <laughs> let's see, uh, let's see if we can get one on this, on this jig. There ought to definitely be some up here on this point and on this drop off. Not seeing a bunch of stuff. Oh, there's some, there's some right there. I'm going to show them to y'all real quick. They're right on the bottom, right there. So we're gonna, ooh, about to fall backwards, goodness gracious. Yep, they're right, right in there. I'm dropping down right on top of them. I don't know if this is a crappy or what it is. I think it's crappy. Oh, it's another bass. No, it's a crappy. Okay, it's a crappy. Not quite as big as what we want. Oh, he's cool. He's got like some black spots on him. We want a little bit bigger, bigger than that. That one came up off the bottom and ate it. That's pretty cool. I thought it was a bass. I was like, daggone it, but... He had some more with him. So maybe we can, we might have to eat this guy. He completely inhaled it. Chill out, buddy. There we go. Wasn't too bad. He's not quite as big as what we want. He's got a big scar on him too, where old Mr. Chain Pickerel nipped at him. But there's another one right there in front of us. Just some more right there in front. See if we can get that one to come up off the bottom. There's one. There's one. Oh, it's a yellow perch. Well, doggone, we could uh could keep that sucker because that's some good eating too. Little yellow perch action there. Tell you what, that is uh that's really good eating. I don't know if y'all um I'm sure y'all do know about the old the old raccoon perch there, but we're gonna have a little we're gonna do a little multi-species. So we're gonna have a raccoon perch and we're gonna catch one speckle. Um I call them raccoon perch, but they're really yellow perch. It's just my southern way of calling them, whatever. That's what I was uh what I was taught they were, old raccoon perch. But we're gonna see if we can get us another. There's a couple more fish right there. I just kind of threw, threw near them. So we're gonna see if we can get a couple more. Ooh, there's, yeah, there's a bunch of fish right there. got one come on please be a crappy yes it is he's still not big though little guy we want one a little bit bigger than that to eat get back in there let's try again i just cast it out there let that sink i didn't see their dead fish on live scope or anything i'm just letting it sink and working it along and that old boy ate it come on let's do it again but with a bigger one all right y'all well it's been 
easily an hour and a half since we caught that last uh, crappie. So I think what I'm gonna do, the wind is really picked up. Didn't really know it was gonna blow this hard, but I got some eighth ounce crappie jigs that I bought as well. And I think I'm gonna put the eighth ounce on here and give that a try because right now the wind's just blowing so hard that this 16th is taking so long to get down. It's blowing my line and it's kind of just, I can't really feel anything. I can't feel anything. So we're gonna switch up to the eighth ounce. We're gonna see if that does anything different. If not, we might just be eating old Mr. Raccoon Perch. I hope not. I mean, there's a ton of crappy in this lake. You know, we're gonna work back around this corner right here, but just no big ones and just not a lot of fish in general. So we're just easing back around this corner right here. See, we can catch something, but we're gonna get that eighth ounce on here because that might be monumental to catching some of these fish. And I know there's gonna be some on this point right here. So we're gonna probably throw this on the on this point. This is right where we caught that yellow perch at. But maybe we can scoop up a big old crappy right here. Let's see. Oh, we got something. What do we got? Oh yeah, nice one. There we go. That's what we want. Get in here. There we go. That looks like lunch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There we go. Whew, well, the challenge of catching the fish is now completed. Now we gotta clean them and we gotta cook them. So we're gonna go across the lake, try to get out of this wind a little bit so the old burner can light up, but we're gonna do some eating right now. So thank you, thank you, buddy. Man, we come back on this point, I just said I was gonna tie on that eighth inch or eighth ounce, I should say, uh, jig, and we ended up getting a nice crappy. We got that raccoon perch in there as well. They are gonna be tasty. So let's go ahead, get to the filleting process. Not gonna show that here on YouTube because, well, they're kind of funny about that stuff. But once we get them filleted, y'all are gonna watch me cook them. So let's get to it. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna close that up. We're gonna ease over, like I said, across the lake over there and maybe even nose up to the bank just so the wind isn't blowing us around so bad. Kind of maybe tuck out of the wind a little bit and let's eat because I am hungry. All righty, so we have made it over to where we're gonna dine at i guess you could say so i'm gonna get out the good old the good old fillet board right here this was my dad's knife and fillet board right there and he cleaned a many a fish on that thing and i'm gonna clean uh, these fish on it today which this is actually i had one just like it that he bought me and after he passed away, this is the only one that I have used. So we're gonna fillet the fish on that bad boy today and we're just gonna do it. We're gonna do it right here. We're just gonna take it and uh, we're gonna lay it like this to try to keep from making so much of a mess, I guess. Uh, maybe we'll do it right here actually. So we'll do it right there and then we can rinse that off and yeah, it's gonna be a good time. So. Let's go ahead. I got the fish in a live well. I'm going to get them out. We're going to get them filleted. I got a bowl uh, to put the fillets in and clean them. And I actually brought a good old gallon of great value purified water to rinse the fish off in. And we are set. So we're going to get them filleted and then we're going to get to cooking. All righty, y'all. There we go. Delicious fillets right there. Now we have to get everything out and ready to go so we have our ozark trail single burner stove camping stove so we got our base right here for the for the tank and then we have our burner right here so 
let's see. I know I have to get my lighter, which is going to be in here. We're going to put all the stuff in here, but we put the tank in there. And then you flip these feet out so it's nice and stable. So we're going to set that bad boy up. And then we need to put this on top. Screw that bad boy on there. That's not very good. This wind might make it a little bit of a, a little bit of a headache getting this thing lit. Let's see what else we have here. We've got a lighter, so we're gonna set this right here, and I'm supposed to let's see if we hear any gas. Yeah, I do hear some gas. All right. I think she's lit. Yeah, she's lit. Putting off some heat, but definitely not a ton. All right, so we got our little little skillet here, a little eight-inch skillet we bought. The wind's still blow, you know, it's blowing pretty good, but it's not like terrible. I can see the flame. We just gotta get that skillet hot enough to cook this fish. That's the main thing. I think we'll be able to. I think we will be able to. So let's get everything out that we need. We got our slap your mama seasoning that we're gonna that we're gonna use. So, once we get the fish on and we get it cooking, I think we'll be okay. We just got to get that pan hot enough. You know, that's, that's the main thing. We just got to get that pan hot enough. We got our forks right here. But this is pretty cool. This might be something that I may do again. So, I mean, if y'all like this, let me know. Oh, yeah, we're starting to starting to get a little heat now I see the I see the vegetable starting to evaporate got a little bit of steam there it's good got a fish right there looking all good heck yeah all right well I guess we might spray a little bit more vegetable in there and we might go ahead and put our fish in got vegetable going all over our riding reel and everything else, but that's all good. Heck yeah, so let's get a, let's get our little fork out here for cooking. Let's see if we can uh, actually cook up some fish. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Boy, this is the crappy that we got in there right now. Yep, this is the crappy. Oh, she is. She is cooking, boys and girls. I know I got girls that watch my channel. Hope y'all are enjoying this. I appreciate everybody that watches all my videos. Let's get some seasoning on here. Oh yeah, we're looking good. So we got the crappy and then we're gonna do the yellow perch next. Look at that. We are cooking on the boat y'all. Never done this before. So this is definitely a first for me. Pretty dang cool. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks real good. So 
we're gonna get right and we're gonna get that put on our plate right here make sure everything don't blow away but I'm gonna definitely say this is done it's starting to fall into pieces this is gonna be this is gonna be good yeah nice and flaky Whew. and I'm hungry too y'all my goodness I'm gonna get all of it this is gonna be this might be something that I just have to do more often I'm gonna tell y'all I think we're done here oh yeah we are done nice and flaky that's the main thing with fish you just want to make sure it's good and flaky that's the main thing all right so now we got some raccoon perch oh uh, you know what let's put a little more let's just put a little more oil in there Get a little bit more oil in there. There we go. Dump out the water. Put that right there to kind of heat that up and let's see. Get some you just slap your mama on there. I don't have it open like really good. It didn't open all that great. This raccoon perch is really good. Really good too. Very, very tasty fish. Haven't eaten one in a while, but very tasty. I'm telling y'all, I am starving. I have not ate anything today in preparation for this deal because I was like, I want to be hungry. I want to fish like I'm hungry. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. It took a lot longer to get that big crappie. It took a lot longer than what I thought. So we're going to go ahead and get this cooked. And then we're going to, we're going to eat up. Go ahead and cook this kind of fast so my crappie doesn't get too, uh, too cold on me. But this is a pretty cool deal. If y'all enjoy this video or this type of video, be sure to comment. Let me know, we can do this with different species. I just figured crappy was a good one to, to do, uh, but we can do it with, with whatever. So, pretty cool. All righty, y'all, we are pulling off the yellow perch. We're gonna leave this over to the side. I'm gonna let y'all know which one I think is better. I'm gonna let y'all know which one I think is better. So I got the yellow perch over here and I have the uh, the crappy over here. Oh yeah, we're nice and nice and done. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna cut this off because we are done cooking. We're gonna let that cool down. I mean, that's honestly a pretty cool deal. Never used one of them before, but that's pretty daggone cool. But what else is cool is right here, we have our lunch. That is pretty cool. We have our lunch right here, and this is going to be delicious. I mean, I'm, whew, this is going to be good. So this is the crappy. Mm, with that seasoning on there. That's so good. Wow. Yeah, that's really good. Let me grab my Mountain Dew real quick. Got our Mountain Dew. It, uh... That Slap Your Mama's got some good spice to it. Really good. Ah, man. This is definitely something that I'm going to have to do again. Undoubtedly. Let's try this, uh, let's try this yellow perch. Yellow perch is good. A much firmer meat. The 
definitely a much firmer meat than the crappy for sure but very good i normally you know normally fry fish and i was actually going to get old bring it out here and i was like my god that could be that could be a mess if i spilt it spilled how old all in my boat that would not be good that would not be good but this is good very good very good mm. well y'all if you enjoyed this video be sure to let me know if you want me to do more videos like this something different than bass fishing i wanted to just kind of break you know break things up do something a little different for the channel trying to bring y'all a lot of content so if you have any ideas you know be you know be sure to put them in the comments below i really appreciate it i'm going to finish up this piece right here finish up my meal i am going to get back to fishing but that's going to be in another video be sure to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video i'll see you next time on gunfish tv man that's good